So it's, it seems the clients want to destroy their entire family over over Keemstar. <laughs> and you know what that means? Money for people like me. You know, it's, that's really, really all you end up doing is, is lining the pockets of the drama YouTubers out there. But hey, I, I guess this is this is really important. This is this is this is worth destroying your family over. <laughs> So there's a lot more to this story that I'm covering. I'll be definitely going over it in my podcast in a lot more detail. But I, I found this interesting because it looks like it, it's, it, it appears that uh, Hillary Klein is thrown in with her brother's accuser. Whoa! Whoa! So this is like how to destroy your family 101. Um, th this is crazy. And we're only going to be over some of these texts. Trisha put this out. She says, I don't care if this is ex exposes myself. I'm just sick of it all. You know, Trisha's. You really can't take Trisha. Her credibility is zilch, but uh, Ethan is not much better. And I guess they're talking about um, Moses has an accuser. And um, the, the, the clients appear to be throwing in with the accuser. And keep in mind, this is Hilla Klein's blood brother. Moses, uh, <laughs> Trisha's soon-to-be husband, and they're clearly doing absolutely anything they can to break this marriage up. Uh, but here we go. He goes, how do you know? And Trisha says, uh, he has so many, and I'm assuming ex-girlfriends. And then Ethan writes, I saw the text. Now, what I think he's talking about here is the accuser gave Ethan texts that show that he's guilty of this particular accident. Uh, allegation which is referred to as stealthing uh, you can go look that up kids and she replies with wow you guys know him seems like a pretty reasonable you guys know him he's one of one of your blood brother unless this that's not true Ethan writes back I thought I did I don't know him I believe the victim so <laughs> I would I would think to myself like all right what was Hill gonna say about this? You believe the victim over your over over your my brother? Trisha writes, "You're falsely accusing someone uh, you know. You don't know this person. Reasonable point. Oh my God!" And Hill writes, "You are sending her hate nonstop. Think about what you're doing." I haven't said anything," says Trisha. This is real. Calling her a stalker? I am ducking stopping everything. I just want this to end. I am pleading. I am not telling you what to do. I'm asking. Like, giving, please. And then Ethan says, and you would do if you actually cared about victims, you hypocrite. Shame on you. Shame on you both of you. I'm trembling with anger and disgust. Shame and sadness. What? People lie. People do. This is not a random case. It's someone you know. What? And Ethan says, I thought it was. <laughs> You're all ready to say I lied about the b b believe all victims, right? Why can't you just leave this alone? Like, it's really too far. Your accusation do not line up with the evidence. I'm still waiting for you to clarify. You can hate us. I owe you nothing. Fine. Oh my God. Okay. See, this is the part where there's a lot more nuance. There's a lot of he said, she said. We're not going all the details. We'll do that tonight on the podcast. But what I want to point out is, I, I, I want you to think if, if your brother came to you and said, this person accused me of something that I didn't do. Now, you don't know whether he's lying or not. You don't know if she's lying or not. But you just take up with, with, with the victim or the alleged victim. That's what she should be. Now, Ethan says he's seen hard evidence of this. I don't know why it's out. I've actually checked the alleged victim's accusation. Apparently, there was some kind of relationship between Moses and uh, the alleged victim. Um, but I didn't see any leaks that pertaining to the stealthing incident. And I do find it funny. It's, it's, it's a really good point. Uh, Trisha said that, that she got when she was a child. Um, but now that's actually being brought into question. We're, we're going over that with a microscope. And you know what? I gotta be perfectly honest with you. Trisha is not the most credible person on the planet. But it's it's just bizarre that with this this whole Me Too, this, this is what Me Too's become. I believe who I want, and I use Me Too to attack who I want. I pretend it's really, it's really nuts and incredibly convenient.
So, like I was saying before, there, there may be some legitimacy to the allegation. Who knows? I, I'm not really totally interested in that. Uh, I'm more interested in just how far this family will go to sabotage each other. That's 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 what's fascinating to me. It, it's 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 incredible. And now you have blood, blood brothers versus blood sisters. And the root of all evil, the root, the root of this is Keemstar. This is all being done. They're destroying their family over Keemstar. But say what you want about me and his rivalry. I never did anything like that. We, we have a saying for this where I come from, uh, uh, this type of family behavior. We call it white trash. I'm not kidding. This is, this is just white trash behavior. Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, look, because it, it, it's like this to me. If if, if your brother, you, you got to give him the benefit, unless you absolutely 100% know that that there's been some kind of crime taking place. You usually give your brother the benefit of the doubt, even if you think he's guilty. <laughs> but it's it's just the the whole thing with this, like Trisha's allegations, they're crap, and maybe they are, and then but. But the, the woman that could ruin Moses and Trisha's marriage and life, totally believable. <laughs> God. So I hope you sub, I hope you, I'm dying to see your comments, uh, like, share, and all that stuff. See you tonight in the podcast. So yeah, and I, I do, I, I think this is, is white trashy. Oh, why are you bringing race into it? Nah, it's more of an expression. Uh, you know, your, your, your family's business is out there and you, you got crazy stuff going on and it's hard to keep track of. White trash behavior. That, that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. But the, hit the music! <laughs> See you later.